Auntie Tina's Halloween Biscuits. The scariest thing you'll ever put in your mouth. Halloween. That time of the year when evil spirits return to walk the earth. When vampires treat themselves to an extra victim or two. A time when the bogeyman really is under your bed. But for many people, Halloween is also a time for friendship. Hi Phil. I'm home. Hello Joe. Where did you go? I went to the new mini market built over the altered medieval cemetery. Well, Joe, call me superstitious, but I think it's wrong to have a supermarket there. Oh, why's that? Because the dead should rest in peace. And not be disturbed by supermarket bargains. Huh. I am doomed to walk here. Ooh, potatoes at half price. Fry a jack lantern. That's not a pumpkin. No, I thought pumpkins were uh, too American. When I were a lad, we used to make jack lanterns out of turnips. <laughs> but that's a swede. No, it's not. It's a turnip. Jo, jo, jo. In Egyptville, maybe, but around these parts, that's a swede. Phil, I come from five generations of turnip farmers. That is a turnip. Uh, I've got every queue in food hygiene now. Ooh, I can wash me hands. King of the vegetable people. Ooh. Little did Joe and Phil suspect that the reason they argued was not because they are idiots, but because they were now in the presence of pure evil. Vegetable evil. Scary story. Scary story. That's not a story. That's a video clip. Oh, sorry. But the edge was too oily, and unable to stop herself from slipping, she fell and drowned in her own pot of melted cheese. Oh, Phil, that's dead scary. I'm glad we don't have a fondue set. Shall we start our lantern now? Yes. Can I draw the face? Yeah, I suppose so. But I want to light the candle. Hello, darling. No. The supernatural is merely a term used to describe things we don't yet understand. And maybe one day when science has broken through the veil of superstition, we will finally have the answers. Welcome to my dimension, mortal. At the strike of midnight, a portal will open in your world, in your Halloween lantern. Mankind will tremble before me, and you will all be my slaves.
Maybe a little bit. You know what the doctor told you about eating cheese? Not to do it because it makes me hallucinate. Right, so don't eat the cheese. I'm sorry, Joe. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Impressive Jack Lantern. Let's light the candle. Yeah. Oh look, it's nearly midnight too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my dimension, mortal. I bring evil, giant insects, plague, mildew, lime scale, and um, some slimy stuff. They will spread throughout Bradford, move south towards Huddersfield, then possibly take the M62 towards Manchester. Evil, evil Manchester. <laughs> Premonition came true. You mean it wasn't the cheese? No, we have brought an evil vegetable spirit into the world and callously blamed it on the cheese. We're sorry, cheese. Oh, Joe, what are we going to do? We can surrender to it and hope it has mercy upon us. Some Halloween biscuits. Well, that's nice. Cower before me, mortal woman. Well, how rude. Don't go near it, Tina. It's evil. It's okay, Tina. You can cower behind us. But it's only a turnip. Here, pass me that vegetable knife. Stay away from me! Stay away! Ah! Bollocks! Well, I think I'll make turnip stew tonight. With cheese? Ooh. Cup of tea, anybody? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, remember, 
If someone brings an evil vegetable into your home, make sure you have a small but sharp vegetable knife to hand. Oh, and the moral of the story, Joe? Yeah? Why is the moral? Uh, I don't know. Don't actually think there is one. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely not.